In this video, we will look at how to use LT Spice to simulate DC circuits. LT Spice is available for downloads from the Analog Devices website. It is a high performance Spice simulation software and has a wide library of analog and power electronic devices. LT Spice is available for download for both Windows and Mac operating systems. The main steps in using any circuit simulator are listed here. In this video, we will see how these five steps uh, relate to LT Spice. Also, this is the circuit that we will be simulating. So this circuit has one voltage source, one independent current source and multiple resistors. This circuit of interest can be solved using any circuit analysis technique. A solution using node voltage method is shown here and this solution will be confirmed using LT Spice. This is what the main interface of LT Spice looks like. To start, first let's open a new schematic. So I click on File and then New Schematic. The main, the common circuit elements are here. So this includes ground, resistor, capacitor, inductor, diode, and the main components library can be accessed here. In our circuit, we have three resistors. So I'm going to click on resistor and then place three resistors and then right click to make it go away. Next, we need to place a ground. So I click the ground and place the common ground. Right click to make it go away. Next, we need to place the independent voltage source and the independent current source. So I access the components library and this opens up a menu which has all the components included with LT Spice. To look for the volt independent voltage source, I type voltage and this is the component. So click OK and place and right click to make it go away. Similarly, to access the independent current source, the part name is current. So select that and place. Right click to make it go away. After placing the circuit components on the schematic, we need to wire them up. In this case, I'm going to use the, the move function here and I click on the resistor and now I can move it around and using the short key, shortcut key control R, I can rotate it. So I'm going to place it like this to make it easy to wire. Similarly, our current source is pointing in the wrong direction. So I use the move function, select it, and then I can move it around. And using the shortcut key control R, I can rotate it. To wire the circuit, click the wiring tool. And this changes the cursor into this shape. And now by clicking on the endpoints, the circuit can easily be wired up. Also note that LT Spice uh, detects the nodes automatically. And these are indicated by the solid blue rectangles in the circuit. So we missed one wiring, so just complete that and right click to make it go away. Now we can make sure the circuit fits into the window and this can be done by using this command here. Our circuit is now drawn and wired up. We need to enter the values of the parameters. So I bring the cursor onto the circuit element and we can see that the cursor changes shape and then right click and this opens up a menu where we can specify the value of the voltage source. If I click on advanced, so this 
independent voltage source can be configured to behave as a sine exponential or a piecewise source here we are only using it as a dc voltage source so i just entered the value 50 volts for the current source similarly right click and this is 3 amps for the resistors this one is 5 ohm and this one is 10 ohm and this resistor is 40 ohm now the first three steps are complete the next step is to configure the simulation this can be done using this spice directive option here if i click it asks me to write the spice directive i can write dot op here and this will tell lt spice that we want to run a dc bias dc simulation however there is another way to access this also i can go into simulate and edit simulation command and here there is an option for the different simulation options for dc operating point the spice directive is dot op so if i click ok i can place the spice directive on the schematic the simulation is now ready to be run before we do that if if we wish to place comments on the schematic then we can use the spice directive and select comment and for instance i can write this is a test simulation and this will place the comment in the schematic to run the simulation use the run command and this gives the dc operating point so this gives all the node voltages as well as the currents in the different uh, circuit components We can make more sense of the output as follows. Bring the cursor to the node of interest and right click and select label net. Here, suppose I give this a label node one, then I can place this label on the schematic and then wire this up. Now, when we run, we can see that the node voltage is displayed as 40 volts so by placing labels we can make more sense of the output another easier way to make sense of the output is to just hover the cursor over the component of interest and in the bottom left corner p spice displays the dc operating point as well as the power dissipation for instance the voltage here is 50 volts the voltage here is 40 volts if for the independent voltage source the power dissipation is minus 100 watt this voltage source is supplying power to the circuit for the current source the power dissipation is minus 120 watt so in total the circuit is there are two components supplying 220 watts power to this circuit and the resistors are dissipating 20 watt 160 watt and 40 watt which adds up to 220 watts so this shows how we can use lt spice to get dc voltages and currents in a circuit